Today I'm going to be going over LinkedIn's ad library, which allows you to see advertisements. You can look at your competitors' ads, you can look at ads for specific keywords, you can look at ads being ran in specific countries, and you can look at ads being ran for specific dates as well. So if we come back over here to LinkedIn's ad library, we're just on the help page really quickly to go over some of the things you can search by. So the very first four things, advertiser name, keyword, country, and date range. So you can come into the ad library here and just search for something like Shopify. And we don't have to enter a keyword. We don't have to enter a country. We can just look at dates. And let's just say, let's look at the last 30 days, some of the different ads that Shopify has been running on LinkedIn ads. So we'll click on search here. And what you'll see first, so over 1,700 ads match my search criteria. You can see we have Shopify Plus here. If we keep scrolling down, we also have Shopify. So both of these pages are running ads. And when we enter Shopify, it's basically the same company, obviously. So whether they're running it from Shopify Plus or Shopify, we can actually see what ads they're running. And what you can do is click on any of these advertisements. And what you might see is some of these are in different languages. So they're obviously running ads all over the world, wherever they, wherever Shopify can be provided, they're going to be running advertisements most likely. Now, one of the things we can see is Shopify Plus. Give your shoppers the best checkout in the internet, up to 36% better conversion than... So we'll click on view details here and we can actually see the information about the ad. Now, since this ad was ran in the European Union, we can actually see the impression split. So the country, United Kingdom and Ireland, with so 85% to 15%. That's saying total impressions is less than 1,000. So not too many ad impressions for this. And this ad was ran from October 6th to October 9th, 2023. I'm currently recording this video on October 12th. So you can see a lot of this data pretty quickly. I think it's 24 to 48 hours the ad should all appear within the LinkedIn ad library one of the things that's cool here is obviously you see who is promoting this we can click on see more to look at their entire introductory text we can see their advertisement so this just looks like a standard sponsored content image ad and then any uh, headlines description lines and the call to action over here and if we click on learn more we can actually see their landing page so there's a lot of different information you can get from just looking at some of these LinkedIn ads from the advertisement to the landing page to the ad copy that can not only help you if you're trying to look at your competitors advertisements but it can also be useful just to understand what angles some of your competitors are taking using LinkedIn ads so let's come back over to our LinkedIn ad library here let's come back over to the help page really quick so the ad library we can search for ads advertiser name keyword country date range so those are some of the main things that we can search by and then some of the information you can get are the ad preview so we showed that the ad format that's being used the advertiser name the payer name and whether the ad is restricted You'll see here for ads targeted to the European Union, the ad library shows some additional information to comply with the law, ad impressions, ad targeting, and the dates the ad ran. Now it includes ads on LinkedIn after June 1st, 2023, and they remain in the ad library for one year after their last impression on LinkedIn, and they will appear within 24 to 48 hours. So when you click to open up the LinkedIn ad library, you do not need a LinkedIn account or any account to see this information. You can access this with ease. Just enter your search information, whether it's company or advertiser name, or you wanna search by a keyword, enter a specific country, time period, and click on search. So let's search by keyword here, and let's just say, I wanna see any ads that are running Maybe you want to see any ads related to Google ads. So we're going to enter Google ads here. And what I can do is, again, we'll come over here to date. We'll just say last 30 days still. We'll come over here to country, and I'm going to just use my local country, which is the United States. So you can enter your local country or any country you want to. We have United States here. Click on done and click on search. Okay, so this is saying over 1,500 ads match my search criteria. And what you're going to see is not all of these are completely relevant to just Google ads if we enter it here. So social talent right here. Learn how to write inclusive job ads. Avoid Avoid biases and champion diversity at every recruiting stage for an expanded talent pool. Not necessarily something completely relevant to Google ads, but since it's talking about writing inclusive job ads, it's probably going to be geared towards, okay, this is about Google ads as well. Now, some of these are your paid search campaigns as efficient as they need to be. Uh, so we'll see some of these different advertisements as we scroll down here. One of the things that could be really useful is let's just look at, okay, so we have this advertiser here and they're saying, what is your biggest struggle with the Google Display Network and programmatic display marketing? So if we click on view details, we can actually see, okay, so what they are trying to do is make sure that we're advertising on the best possible websites to avoid fraudulent and unsuitable websites for our display marketing campaigns. Now, one thing that can be useful for some of these is just understanding, okay, they're focused on this specific topic. Is my business have anything on my website about this specific topic? 
So for people who may be searching things related to display advertising and making sure you're having really high quality placements, it may be something where not only can you come up with advertisement ideas, you can also come up with content ideas as well. So if you're looking through the ad library, it can be pretty useful in that sense. Now the other thing that we can do is let's just say I'm starting my own freelancing company, right? So I wanna say what are other companies doing that offer freelancing? Let's use Fiverr, so one of the leaders in the industry. So we have Fiverr, we're just gonna keep the United States as the country here, uh, so they probably run ads outside of that, but we have United States as the country and ads that Fiverr has ran in the last 30 days. So we'll click on search, and you'll see 263 ads match my search criteria, so we can actually see some of the different advertisements they're running. Elevate your business with top freelancers. The best way to find freelancers, so let's click on view details. So this is a video ad, the advertiser is Fiverr Pro, as you can see here. We can view their entire introductory text here. One thing to keep in mind with LinkedIn ads that your introductory text gets cut off. So they actually do a pretty good job here of the best way to find freelancers, and it basically gets cut off there. So it gives you some intrigue to actually make sure that you wanna click through and read the rest of this. Now you can watch the actual video ad itself and see what their video ads look like. Connect with top vetted talent, let's look at their landing page. So using the LinkedIn ads library, you can get a ton of information about what your competitors are doing, and it can also give you some insights if you're starting a new business or you're just starting a new advertising campaign, what, or what do their landing pages look like? What kind of goals are they trying to accomplish? Are they trying to drive new freelancers? Are they trying to drive new businesses to hire freelancers? So you can look at all the different angles that some of these different companies are taking. And as we scroll through here, we can see all of the different Fiverr ads that they have been running. Now, you'll see a lot of different ads here, especially because LinkedIn ads offers a lot of different uh, advertisement types. So from document ads, this looks like a document ad. See what 61% of agencies are doing right. Download Fiverr Pro's report on how agencies outsource. So some different ways to see how maybe some of your competitors are running LinkedIn ads. And you can enter anything you want here, whether it's a specific company. So we can see, let's see if uh, SEMrush is running ads here. Okay, so you'll see 83 total ads match our search criteria. SEMrush new bundle offer the tools you need to win. So you can see the, the different ads as we come through here. One of the things I really like looking at is just to get an idea of, okay, let's see what these advertisements look like. Let's see what their ad copy looks like. It can be useful when you are working with a client and they have some larger competitors. So if somebody contacts you and let's just say they have software that does website analytics, you can enter some of their competitors up here, or we can just come in here, search by keyword, and let's just say, okay, they are offering website analytics and we'll use, Okay, so maybe they want to target South America. So we'll say, let's use a couple countries from South America. We'll do Argentina and we will do Brazil and we'll add Chile here as well. So we'll add just these three countries for right now. So we'll click on done. We have three countries. We'll see maybe over the course of this year we'll do and we'll search by keyword and do website analytics. Okay, so we can click on search and then we can look at some of the different ads that are running. Not only does this help see some of the advertisements that are running, it also helps you understand, okay, these are some of my competitors in my industry because they are running advertisements and they are promoting a product that's very similar to mine. So you can see right here, it looks like an analytics company, detects over frequency, over concentration, day parting. So you can see some of the information that they have here to help people with their overall analytics data. So you could also see some more down here as we continue to scroll down. And what you may find is, okay, let's see what our competitors are doing. Let's look at one of their advertisements. Take your digital shelf analytics from insights to actions with Commerce IQ. Okay, so 800 plus, book your demo today. So basically they're trying to get you to request a demo. So let's click on the advertisement and let's come over to their landing page. So digital shelf analytics, take your digital shelf analytics from insights to action, same, same copy they had for the ad. Usually that, usually that's a pretty good best practice to make sure that your ads line up with your landing page. Nice landing page here. So, you know, this is, can give you some insights into what your competitors are doing basically. So that is the way to use the LinkedIn ad library. It is completely free to use. You can look at all of your competitors ads. You can look at ads based on just a specific keyword, what is it that either you or a client is offering who is about to run LinkedIn ads or ads on another channel and see where they're running ads, see the date that they're running ads and get all that information to help you guide your own advertising decisions. 
So this is the LinkedIn ad library. It's an easy way to look at your competitors' advertisements and just get some more information about some of the types of ads that you can run for your business, you can run for your clients, and some of the angles that you can take to drive new customers. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Go to linkedin.com slash ad library. There's a hyphen between ad and library, and you'll be able to access all of this for free. So thank you for watching my video today.